How you going guys, Sammy here, and I'm back with another hack video. This one's for all the boaties out there, and fishermen of course. Now, today what we're going to be doing is silencing our anchor chain. Now, not only does this stop spooking fish below the surface, stops that clink, clink, clink while the anchor's set, it also protects your boat as you're dragging it over the side and letting it free. So it's a great little trick, and all you need to do is grab yourself some of these. So uh, it's an old bike tube. Now you can pick these up from the bike shops. Generally they don't charge you because they're, they're old, they've been replaced, they're throwing them out anyway. You just get your old bike tube, one that's gonna fit tightly around your chain, your anchor chain, and you're good to go. So I've already set one up. I've already started to get one ready. What I've done is I've cut the little, whatever that is, the doobie whacker out of the tube so that's not hanging off. So I've got a big cut in both ends. I've threaded some rope through and I've also put some talcum powder down there, or some baby powder. I did have that, where was it? Here it is. Yeah, a bit of baby powder. Now, I've, I've chosen for triple baby protection. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but ensure you get the good stuff. Um, <laughs> now, what we wanna do, we wanna feed some rope through, so you can use that to then pull the chain. Now, I've taken both the D shackles off my chain, I've just left with the chain, and what I'm going to do is now work it through this so the whole length of chain comes in and out of this spike tube. But it's going to be a bit fiddly, so bear with me. Let's, uh, let's have a crack at it, eh? Righto, so almost ready to go. Got my chain tied to one end of the rope. The other end, I'm going to tie to my uh, dining room table and use that as an anchoring point. And that way I'll be able to pull against something solid and slide that up the chain. Now the talcum powder we've put in there, that's going to hopefully avoid all the friction that's gonna be associated with the chain, should make it slide on a bit easier. But it's a bit fiddly, will take a little bit of time and a bit of finessing, but we'll get to it, and I'll, uh, I'll touch base with you once I've got it on there. Well, that took a little bit of getting on, but I got there in the end. Have a go at this guy, just short. Gonna to have to cut up that other tube and add it on. Now, have a go at the difference in sound. That's with the tube on and without. It's pretty loud, that's a fairly significant increase in noise. Now for those guys with fiberglass boats, this is going to protect your gunnels when you're dragging it over the side. So no more scratches, no more buffing out. Um, one hot tip though, when you get home, make sure you flush the inside of the tube out with fresh water because it will hold a bit of salt and that can cause your chain to rust. There you have it guys, nice simple boating hack for you. So have a crack at it, get it done, and I might even see you out in the water. Catch you later. 